today. From State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. It's week three of the NFL on EA Sports. at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. So this was the scene a moment ago. The Cardinals emerging from their tunnel, and we are ready for football as the cards get set to match up with Matthew Stafford and the Detroit Lions. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Cardinal team as they get ready here. It's been a great start to the season. Back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you know. Second down, it's Johnson. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Jordan Hicks. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And he'll find Galladay, that's complete. And they'll get him down up past the 15. It's a, it's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. First down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the gun, here's Stafford. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. First down, Lions. On first down, Stafford here. Gets it quickly to Galladay. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 more yards there and another first down. Detroit. On first down, it's Stafford. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. to throw again. Stafford. He'll get this one to Galladay. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A gain of 13. It's a first down. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Stafford going to get this one to Johnson. That catch good for only a couple. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. They were looking for Johnson that time, and now it's third down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. On third down, Stafford. And that is incomplete. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Here we go on fourth. Stafford throwing deep for Galladay. And no, it's incomplete. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. 
So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Up in 34 now. Here's first and 10. Murray to give. This is Drake. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. He's tackled at the third. I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy. But they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Throwing is Murray on third down. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. A gain of 10, first down, Arizona. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. DeAndre Hopkins, the pro bowler, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Shotgun now for Murray. And that will be incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Gonzalez's kick is good, but now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. down here in the fourth and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. They'll try the jet sweep with Kirk. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards. And it'll be second down. From the three, second and a yard. Second and one. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray, a three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Cardinals will extend their lead. Now it's looking incredibly likely to be a 3-0 start to this season. That is obviously excellent. 2-0 is one thing. 3-0, you really have some momentum. And now they're serving notice to the rest of the league. And they're a pretty darn good football team. Confident, aggressive, attacking at all times. This looks like a team that you're going to have to deal with. And guess what? Behind closed doors, they're trying to figure out ways to get better. Danny Amendola on the return. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. A gain of six there on first. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Caught by Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the...
the contact. Brings up second down. You know, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a scotch of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts, as he'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Third and two, Stafford. And a throw there going to be incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Again, it's Stafford. And it is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining that the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. And a six-yard gain gets them right around the 43. On the carry. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. Not in any rush offensively. and four. Get him down about three yards short of the first. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. I don't want to overhype it, but this is a big early season game, especially an overtime win. That can give you a big boost going forward in the season. It certainly can, and I don't think you're overhyping it because cliches go out the window when you start to play overtime. And you're right, the winner of this game now, that's an extra boost moving forward. And it actually is an extra hurt for the team that loses because normally you shake it off. But in this situation, it lingers a little bit longer. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis.